All right, are we ready? We just need to finish up where we left off at because lunchtime came, and so we're going to cut back to right here, okay? And we were doing some regrouping, and I asked you to show me on your boards the regrouping. And so you, now we were going over, and we were continuing to tell me what the answer was, what the difference was. 13 take away 5. Eight. eight and then nine take away eight is one. 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 Can I stop? No. 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 What was my partial portion up here? Fifty. Fifty. Very good. Fifty. So can I continue? Yes. Yes, because I have to keep going until my remainder or until my dividend, this new dividend is less than seventeen. Seventeen, my divisor. Yes. By 5, 17 times 5 gave me what? 85. 85. See how we're not even having to do too much thinking because of the ratio table? Yeah. You yes. Twice. You could do it twice. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Do you agree? Let me see your agree sign. Yes. Ah, by 7 is already up here. See why the chart helps us? Because that's even closer, huh? Ah, by 10, huh? Because that would give us what? 170, right? We already have it up. See how we have all this stuff already in our brain bank? But we did not, even though we didn't use 10 as our friendly number up here, so that's 170. So, I'm going to stay with 10. I know, no, wait, 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 wait. But I want to stay with 10 because it's so friendly and I'm teaching about friendly numbers. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. So, one, I know we want to finish it, but 87. Oh, it's 11. I know. But 10, if we use 10, what do we get? 170. And then 11 gives us 187. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should use 187? I know, but it, I just wanted to show about friendly numbers, too. Okay, sometimes 11 is not friendly for people. So I just wanted to showcase that. See, check three. Two, one, because people are talking in the back and distracting me, and that is why I got it wrong and why I wrote down something different than what I needed to write. I need you to be quiet. What should I have written? 17. Thank you. So now my whole entire chart is messed up because of that. Because I lost focus. No, I'm just going to do this. Turn that into a zero. There. So, do we have an accurate number? Uh -huh. yes, sir. This is what I wanted to showcase. Now, what can I do it's so well, easily? Sign one. one. But before I do that, I have to sh yeah. shift yeah. my new it's dividend into the other box, and that becomes 17. And you guys said that we were going to use our friendly number one. We, we, we forgot to put friendly number one up in here. One is well, always a friendly number, one right? Is best friend. That's our best friend. Yeah. Best friend one is the, the best friend to the end. Like yeah. well, uh, math is? Cash. What will that give me? 17 times one gives me? 17. And what will my partial quotient be? One. 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 Uno, one. Yes. Oh, and what will my my difference be? Zero. Zero. Can I stop and put my stop sign yes. down? Yes. Yes, I can. Why can't I? Because, because there's no more numbers. numbers. Because, ooh, that was a whole lot. Uh, I need somebody who's gonna tell me clear in the clear, clear and concise thought. Quiet. I need to hear. Go. You can put the stop sign there because. Zero is less than uh, 17. Which okay. Is which is our divisor. Now with our goal is to get the number, our, our new dividend, less Lower. than our divisor. Okay? To get the new dividend less than our divisor. divisor. Did we do that? Did we accomplish yes. our task? Yes. Yeah, we did. So now in order to get our quotient, what do we have to do now? Yes. Add all the, the partial, partial quotient. Yes. All the PQUs. Go. On your board. Go. Tell me what it is. Can you release this? These are stupid. You have a few seconds. Let's go. Add them up. <laughs> You got about a few more seconds before showdown.
That's my song, the Pink Panther. All right, are we ready? No. Yes. I'm not ready. Showdown. Are you ready? Oh, you don't have cash mannequin challenge. Let's see if I'm gonna add them up. Let's go. Watch me. One hundred. Is that what you did? Yes. Yeah. 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 I did them separately. I just I'm smart. And what did you get per se? What is our quotient? Do we have a remainder? No. But how do I would know this is right if I check it using multiplication? Prove it. Go. Prove it. Check it using multiplication. Go. I, I don't want to hear about anything other about I got it right. I got it this. I can look around the room and see that you got. You don't have to tell me you got it right. When I do my scan, I can look and see whose boards are right. You don't have to shout it out and tell me I got it right. That's for you to shout out for me. I don't need that attention from you. Go. That's what I want you to prove. Prove to me that it is right by using multiplication. What am I going to multiply? 17 times what? All right, so let's check using the inverse. And if you multiply 17 times what? What are we multiplying 17 times? All right, so 861 times 17. I don't know which method you use. What method could you have used? The regular algorithm. You could have used the area model, partial. This is when you would use partial products, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna use partial products. Seven times one is what? Seven. Seven times 60. Seven times sixty is four twenty. Mm, Cause seven times is forty two, right? Yeah. All right, seven times eight hundred. Five thousand six hundred. All right, ten times one. Ten. Ten. Ten times sixty. Six hundred. And then ten times eight hundred. Eight thousand. All right, add all that up and see if you get see if you get this fourteen thousand six hundred thirty-seven. When you add, I don't want to. You you add it. Add it. Show me. Did you prove it to me? Is the seven the seven right there in there, right? Two, right? Seven. Yeah, the seven is part of it. Seven, three. Are we right? Yes. I'm not putting it into the quotient box until we prove we're right. Let's add it up. Go. What was it? Seven? seven. Wait, 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 wait. Two plus one is three. Two plus one is three. three. We have a double. Can we make doubles? Two, six and six is twelve plus four. Sixteen. Okay, that works. Plus one more on top of the... Fourteen plus one more makes thirteen, right? 14. So did we make it? Yes. Yes, we did. I think we did what we were yes. supposed to do. So can I now have royalty and go out the box? And how about the box? Am I ready to hear the box song now? Yes. And violin. Yeah, you actually put the actual lyrics? No, I cannot put the actual lyrics. Can you put the just queen? Queen? No, I can't put the queen version. No. 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 Okay. 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 While we hopping out the box, you're cleaning up and cleaning up your boxes. You're not singing. You're not singing. Unless it's about math. You can make up a math song. Pulling out. 
a math. Physics. Where's the bus fly, fly? Okay, and you. You can make up a math following. You need to. 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 You so, math is cat. Hands and eyes. C check in five, four, three, two, one. What method were we practicing today? The box method, okay? And we know that this is just one. I wait, you know, I don't talk over you. We know this is one strategy that we can use to divide. It does not matter how big this number is, as long as we know how to use friendly numbers, make a ratio table, we can divide anything, yes? You got the quotient off. What was the quotient? Uh, it was 861. See, so y'all was all partying at the box, and then look what happened. Huh? I got excited. There we go. Now. I thought the, the wrong box. All right, very good. Good lesson for today. Go ahead, clear your desk, put everything away, so you can get ready. Maybe I'll think about it.